It's the war on Christmas! Okay, not really. But I am going to go on a little rant about this whole war on Christmas idea. And it's probably not in the direction you're thinking, so stick around. Hello everyone, my name is Brett Hetherington of Head First Studios, and today I want to take a look at the so-called War on Christmas. Every year around Thanksgiving, we start to hear rumblings from a small portion, very, very small, of the Christian body that complain that there is a war on Christmas going on. I say small because I know there are tons of you out there who are probably watching this that don't really buy into all that jazz. This faction complains how their rights as American citizens and as Christians are being trampled on and marginalized because Walmart says Happy Holidays rather than Merry Christmas and Starbucks doesn't have Merry Christmas on their red cups this year. So let's look at this whole Happy Holidays issue. I'm going to assume that you know Jesus was not born on December 25th. And you probably know that December 25th being celebrated as Christmas, that's a day that was co-opted by the early church because it'd be a whole lot easier to let people celebrate a Christian holiday rather than making them stop partying on the pagan one that was going on at the same time. So let's look at this objectively. Christmas is not the only holiday that's happening in the month of December. In fact, there are no less than 14 holidays being celebrated in the month of December. 14. And depending on where you're scouring, you could find that there are as many as 30 different holidays going on at this time of year. 30, including Christmas. People like to complain in this mindset that a manger scene was not erected on the front lawn of the Capitol building in their state. But we're not a theocracy. America is a country that is multicultural and multi-faith that was founded on the principles of religious freedom. It was not founded as a Christian nation, but as one where people will be free to celebrate and to worship however they like. As such, the government is supposed to remain neutral in all things, especially when it comes to religion. You can argue whether or not they're successful at this, but we're not talking about that here. And I can attest to this. I recently did some work for a government organization that is not allowed to even give me a review publicly because it would show favoritism towards one individual vendor. Our government is not supposed to function as a branch of the Christian church, and neither are stores and businesses. There's a difference. I wouldn't expect someone who cannot stand sports to automatically jump on the bandwagon and become huge fans of the Pittsburgh Steelers and to go out and buy all kinds of gear, jerseys and footballs and helmets, oh my. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me six Lombardies. Nor should we expect the government and retail stores to start celebrating Christmas exclusively. So please, if you are a Christian and you find yourself for any time at all whining and complaining about the post office or Target not wishing you a Merry Christmas when you check out, find something more useful something more redemptive to do with your time. Perhaps feeding the hungry, clothing the naked, welcoming the uninvited and the stranger. Love your enemies. Or pray for those who truly are persecuting you. And remember, sometimes people truly do not understand where you're coming from. Check out this short clip. Lights, please. As we all know, Christmas is that mystical time of year when the ghost of Jesus rises from the grave to feed on the flesh of the living. So we all sing Christmas carols to lull him back to sleep. Outrageous! How dare he say such blasphemy? I've got to do something! Bob, there's nothing you can do. <sighs> well, I guess I'll just have to develop a sense of humor. Oftentimes it is not as humorous as this, but you get the idea. And if you're not a Christian and you find yourself pumping your fists emphatically at this point in the video because Christmas does offend you, why don't you find something more useful to be offended over? Like genocide, running rampant, sex trafficking. Don't waste your time filing a lawsuit because you're offended by your neighbor's Christmas-themed light display on their house. So that's all I've got for you this week. Leave some comments below. Share some of your stories about 
what happens when you work with people from a differing faith system? How do you manage to get along without creating this whole war on Christmas? So you keep watching, I'll keep telling stories, or ranting about basic stupidity in our country. But really, more stories.